My name is Sarah. I'm a tour guide and travel writer. I've been traveling the world for 20 years, enjoying the company of friends, exploring new places, and learning how to travel light and right. And today I'm going to teach you how. The key to packing light is simple. Keep track of your bag's weight and weigh individual items to choose the lightest things. So I'm going to show you today how to put together a wardrobe with Eileen Fisher clothing that actually packs really well, but also coordinates. You might not believe it, but I actually travel for two to three months a year out of a small backpack. And it's really easy. All you have to do is think about weight and think about uh, things that all coordinate. Everything you pack should go together. What I like to do when I start packing is I'll lay out my wardrobe all on the bed all together. And this way I can kind of decide, do the colors go or not? It's also very important to start off thinking about a palette. So a great palette, it, as I've laid out here, is white, beige, and black. Uh, another one that I've done before is blue and white and pink. So think about colors that you like that suit you really well and lay them all. When we're thinking about tops, tops are a really integral part to making your outfits look different and more put together. After being in Italy for 25 years, I've observed one thing about Italian women. They have style. And why do they have style? It's layers. Uh, so I've put together tops that can be layered in a variety of different ways. So even if you have a small amount of clothes, you can make it look like you have a completely different ensemble every day. What I've chosen is two short sleeve tops, one camisole uh, shell, uh, two sleeveless tops, and then one sleeveless tunic. And then over here, I have two of these shawls, which are a really wonderful layering piece that can make any outfit look dressed up. On top of that, I have another long sleeve top, just a plain white jacket. This is a button up jacket. You can either wear it uh, open or closed, and that can instantly change up any of your outfits. So every one of these tops, you could put this over the top of it if you wanted uh, to layer it. And then the last piece is jewelry. Uh, I collect jewelry. I, all over the world when I travel, I try to pick up interesting pieces because even with something that's just black and white, if you choose something that's kind of a showpiece like this, this is from Venice, Venetian glass. Once I put this on, that kind of ties the whole thing together because now we have a really put together look. And if I wanted to continue on with that, the other tip from Italian women, always have a scarf. I love these neutral color scarves like this because you can layer them with many things. And also, if you have a look, the scarf goes with everything I've chosen. So just... So one of my biggest tips for packing is to use packing cubes. These are cubes that you can purchase from a variety of different companies. This one, for example, is by Eagle Creek. Tom Bin also makes them, uh, Lewis and Clark. And what they are is a way to contain all of your things into little sacks. So if you have a big bag and you can't find your shoes or something else that you need, you just grab a sack and you know what's in it. So this, for example, is my underwear sack. So this is the sexy part of the show. So what do I take with me for underwear and things like that? Well, I've got in here a nightgown. So just a simple comfy black nightgown. I take with me uh, bras and I, I typically take three bras. So I have one on that's an, a regular wired bra with a, a neutral color. I have another one that is uh, a sports bra. And what I recommend with a sports bra, this is a fancy little trick. If you travel a lot, in places where there's a swimming opportunity. A sports bra such as this can also double. It has a swimsuit. So I use this as my swim top along with a pair of bikini bottoms. Uh, and then I've also got underwear in here, usually enough for a week. And my tip for underwear is when you're looking through underwear options at stores, bring your, your kitchen scale or just look for the most lightweight material. There are a bunch of different companies that make very lightweight uh, underpants. This is an example of one. These are just Fruit of the Loom. There's another company called On Gossamer you can find that makes almost completely sheer underpants. These are so comfortable and they wash up and dry within an hour or two. So this is a really easy way. You wouldn't believe all the things I've gotten in here. So how do I repack it? Even easier than unpacking it. You just stuff, stuff, stuff. It's your underpants, it's your nightgown. You don't need it to be unwrinkled. It can be as wrinkled as you want. And once you've stuffed it all up, you can just zip it and you're ready to go. So that's how we use packing cubes uh, to organize our stuff and to keep it so everything's accessible easily. 
Toiletries are often the thing that most women think that they can't condense, that they have to bring full, bottle, full bottles of different products and they're gonna need a really big sack. You don't actually. I boiled it down to just this little tiny sack and actually this is what you want to do because a bag like this is considered to be carry-on safe. Uh, this is what the TSA recommends, so this is a TSA approved uh, carry-on sack because it's clear, first of all, and it's small, it's only a quart size. This particular one, which is from a bag maker called Tom Bin, even has the benefit of a little hook that you can just hook in your bathroom and you've got all of your toiletries. Now, how do I carry all my toiletries in a tiny little bag? Well, a couple of different uh, ideas. One is that I bring a solid deodorant that's a paste. Uh, it's a much smaller container than a big deodorant stick. Another little tip is that you can bring a small container like this for any pills you need. I take about three different uh, medicines a day. I keep them in this container and they're just sliding right in here. I take a photograph of the, the prescription label in case I ever get questioned, which I never have, but just in case. Uh, you can also, with your shampoo, if you have a particular shampoo that you like, you can reuse bottles from hotels like this, but go and condense them. Put your shampoo and conditioner into a shallow bowl, put it in a warm place for a couple of weeks, and you come back and you've got ultra-condensed shampoo. So a little bottle like this can actually last me close to a month. So these are just some little tips. You can really kind of scale down the makeup and things that you bring. Uh, I also bring a base powder like this. This is called Bare Minerals. And this is both a sunscreen as well as a base makeup. So kind of refining what you bring with you for makeup and toiletries uh, can save you an awful lot of space. So make this the size that you need to fit into. When you keep a neutral palette of clothing, you can dress things up and layer them and everything ends up going together. For the palette I'm showing you right now, it's just a black, white, and beige palette. And I'm just gonna use this as my base layer, this very simple jersey dress, which is extremely comfortable. So I'm gonna show you now how you can dress this up and change it with layers to take it from day to night, from dinner to party to a casual walk through the airport. So the, when I've talked about packing cubes, I mean packing cubes are great for almost everything. The only thing I wouldn't put in a packing cube is anything that is wrinkle, kind of has a wrinkle problem. So I flat pack, for example, pants and shirts, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Everything else, if it's a soft texture like this that's not really going to wrinkle, I put them into a packing cube, a large packing cube. So this one here, uh, I have partially loaded. All of my shirts I roll up and then I pack like little sausages. Uh, so you just fold your shirt in half. So here's the shirt open, fold it in half, make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then you just roll it just like a sausage like this and you put it into your zippered pouch, your packing cube. And you can keep doing it. And what's really nice with this system of rolling, folding and rolling, is that in the end, you'll be able to see what you have. And then you can start to say, well, do these colors go together or do they not? If you look at this set of colors, they all go together and I can tell that immediately. Then when I go to pack or, and dress in the morning, I can open it up and I can say, oh, okay, I can see what I have. I also sometimes order them so I'll have sleeveless tops here, short sleeve here, long sleeve here, and then it's really easy to understand what you have. Once you've packed it all up, you zip it, and it stays just like this and you can toss it into your bag. Okay, now that we have assembled our packing cubes, it's time to finish putting the bag together. Uh, and you've weighed everything, you make sure that you have as little weight as possible. Now we're going to flat fold things. There are certain things that don't really work well in a packing cube and pants are one of them, especially things that may wrinkle like these linen pants. What I do with these is I fold them really simply, just in half this way, in half again, and then I just lay them as carefully into my bag as possible, nice and flat so they don't get uh, wrinkled. And then if I have a shirt like this, which is a very crinkly, wrinkly shirt, then you can do a more precise fold. For these kinds of shirts, I like to button them up the front, and then I take them and fold them more or less in thirds. Fold it over this way in thirds, have it nice and tight. 
Hold down the arm. Try to make sure that everything is laying flat. Same thing here, weight in thirds. This is kind of the way that they do it actually in the stores as well. So if you can kind of figure out how that works. And then you fold it up. And once you've done it, it should lay nice and flat so it has as few wrinkles as possible. So now that I've got all of my flat fold things in here, which is dresses, pants, and any kind of shirt that can't be rolled, now I'm gonna add my cubes. Here's my shirt cube, that goes there. Here is my underwear cube, that's gonna go here. This is my shoe cube, which uh, I, everybody has different opinions about shoes, but having a cube like this, where you can stack a couple of pairs of shoes, keeps them from getting the rest of your clothes and things dirty. This is also a compression cube, so looks a little fat. I can zip it down, zip it down, zip it down, and now it's a lot skinnier. It can go right there, then this goes here. And I'm so organized now, the bag has actually a little bit of room. So if you've been a good, a good person packing with your lightweight things, compact, all of that, you can add what I call a luxury item. My luxury item is a full-size pillow. It's a down pillow, it weighs almost nothing, but it brings a little piece of home to your hotel room, and so I always bring that. I put that on top, flip the lid shut, and I've got my bag. So that's how you put together a bag that's organized, lightweight, and very versatile. So I hope all of these tips are going to help you put together a beautiful collection of clothing from the Eileen Fisher line that will work really well for you. The natural fibers, the lightweight clothing, all of these things, they make it perfect. These are perfect clothes. I've been traveling with them for probably about 20 years. They last forever. That's the other thing that's wonderful. So in the end, if you followed all of the ideas that I've given you, you should end up with just two bags. And this is exactly what I travel with for up to two, three months a year. Just my regular bag and where I put the rest of my things. So, I'm out of here. Buon viaggio, everybody, and good luck packing light.